All right, factoring a sum or a uh, difference of two cubes. Um, basically, it's just me memorizing the formula. Uh, if you have a if it's if you're factoring the sum of two cubes, so say x cubed plus y cubed, it is equal to x plus y. All right, all that times x squared minus x y plus y squared. All right, and the difference of two cubes is not a whole lot different. x cubed minus y cubed is equal to x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. So you notice that um, the signs here are different and the signs here. If you start off with a problem that's plus, then the first one will be plus, the second will be minus. If you start off with one that's minus, then the first is minus, the second is plus. So there's really no, um, there's nothing you can do but just memorize those formulas. Um, Whereas some of the other factoring, you can follow procedures and you don't have to do memorizing, but these you just have to memorize. So we have to figure out, um, you know, what we're going to put in our formulas. And in any factoring pro problem, you want to start by factoring the GCF. The GCF of this problem is, um, we're going to take out a negative 2. So it'd be negative 2, and then what's left is x cubed minus 64 y cubed. So we see that we're dealing with the difference of two cubes. So we're going to be using the second formula. Um, so you have to figure out what your, um, I should have called them different letters, but anyway, what your x and y are. So um, in other words, what are the two things that are being cubed? Well, x is being cubed, so x is going to be one of your terms, and then um, the other thing being cubed, or basically you're trying to find the cube root of each piece. So the cube root of x cubed is x, and the cube root of 64y cubed is 4y. So those are the pieces that you need for um, the formula. All right, so now that we have that, um, we can go ahead and say that this is equal to, we still need our negative two out there. I'm never gonna have enough room here, so let me squeeze this a little bit. Okay. Um, negative 2 times, and it's going to be x minus 4y. And then I'm going to put the second line, or the second part down here. Uh, x squared plus x times 4y, so 4xy. And then it's the last one squared, so that's going to be plus... Uh, 4y squared would be 16y squared. And that's it. This is your answer here in the box. Alright, we have another one here. Uh, 54w cubed minus 16. The same thing, you need to factor out the GCF first. Um, with this one, we can take out a 2. And we get 27w cubed minus 8. So the cube root of this first part is 3w. The cube root of this part is 2. It's a difference of 2 squares, so it's going to be 2 times 3w minus 2. And then 3w squared would be 9w squared plus it's going to be 6w 
because you multiply these two together for the middle term. Um, the two things that I've circled here, you multiply that together. 2 times 3w is 6w, and then square the second part, which is 2 squared is 4. And that's it.